Our next speaker is uh, Mit Moscovich from the School of Mathematics. Is that the right name? Or Mathematical Science or something like that. <laughs> Hello. Hi. So uh, this talk is about using uh, TIX or uh, TIXZ, which is a language for specifying vector uh, ve vector uh, figures or in, in LaTeX. I guess many of you are familiar with this. Uh, maybe, maybe not everyone. Uh, so TIX is a really wonderful language. It, create, it can create beautiful beautiful illustrations uh, like this one that I stole from the internet and unfortunately uh, there is a price to pay and that is that you need to write quite a lot of code and you need to know uh, you need to learn an entire language of how to specify positions and arrows and, and line styles and, and all of that and and I think that uh, producing a, a figure like this would take most people probably a couple of days um, if they're not uh, real expert, experts on ticks. And uh, I don't know about you, but I think I have better uh, things to do with my time than to spend days creating these, uh, these figures. So I would like to get the benefit of the nice figures uh, without the hard work. Um, the nice thing about ticks is that all of the parameters are inside the code, all the locations. So once you have a good figure, you can adjust it. You can uh, change locations and, and text very easily, which is something that's not true about uh, uh, you know, PNG images, for example. So I use this opportunity and, and the invitation to uh, do a quick benchmark of uh, what's the current state of, of Tixi uh, generation using different tools. So uh, here is uh, the... Uh, here are the systems we're going to compare, uh, ChatGPT, uh, the current model, GPT-4.0, Claude, uh, 3.5 Sonnet, and, and Gemini 1.5 Flash. These are all uh, the, the free tiers of kind of leading uh, LLMs. So if you pay money, you can get maybe a better model, you can get better results. Um, so, so let's see. Um, for the first example, I took this uh, famous uh, pie chart from XKCD, which is a self-describing pie chart. It, it, it shows the percentage of the pie chart that is black and the percentage that is white. Uh, now this is um, kind of a hand-drawn style image. Uh, as far as I know, no one has made a tick plot of it, so I hope this was not in the training set of, of any of the LLMs. And I wanted to create recreate this image in ticks. So, uh, I wrote a prompt, a prompt uh, that asks to prepare a tix figure using a document class standalone. That means, uh, like, without the, a whole A4 page around it, just the just the uh, plot itself. And then I describe what I want from the plot. So I wanted to uh, show a pie chart with uh, two colors, white and black, and there should be some uh, thick black circle around it, etc., uh, etc. Et and I also asked to add the text. Uh, at the top left and the and the and the bottom left, and uh, gave it instructions on how to connect it and where to place it, but didn't specifically say you know this line should be kind of broken. I I just uh, let, let the, the models uh, figure it out. So that that's later, yeah. So but but the idea here is that usually you don't uh, necessarily have you know a good illustration of the plot. You kind of have an idea of what you want to accomplish using your figure. So I, I have an idea in my head and I want to describe it. So uh, this is what I got from ChatGPT. I think this is actually n not bad. Um, it, it messed up the, the placement of the, of the connecting lines uh, a little bit, which is something that the models uh, seem to have a problem with, kind of positioning things. But you could take the, the ticks code and you could just change the positions and, and you'll get a good figure. Uh, out of this one. Uh, if you do the same thing with Claude, you get something kind of weird. <laughs> it adds this kind of a shaded region, so I, I, don't, I don't know, and it also <laughs> uh, kind of breaches the, the limits of the, of the pie chart. It's kind of odd. And if you do the same thing with uh, Google Gemini, you also get this kind of uh, strange phenomenon with uh, 
Like the, the white do doesn't cover the whole thing, it's just like a pie slice and then the black is a pipe slice. Also the back should be smaller than the white, but here the, the white is smaller than the back. Uh, so I don't think this result is so good. Um, for the second benchmark, I took uh, uh, kind of a plot of two, two densities of, of Gaussians with uh, different uh, expectations and, and variances. And for the plot, I actually told the, uh, the chats in the prompt, I told them exactly what I want to, to obtain, like which expectation for which plot and what is the, what is the variance. So I gave specific numbers and, and uh, colors. I tried to make the prompts very detailed. And uh, the result that I get is, is quite wonderful. So, so ChatGPT actually generates TIX code that computes the Gaussian PDF with the correct expectation and the, and the correct variance and you get a really almost, almost perfect plot. So it somehow uh, uh, thought that I would want to have the label f of x on, on the y-axis, which I didn't ask for, but, but okay. Other than that, I think the, the plot is very good. And Claude also gets the same result. Uh, Gemini uh, I think gets a slightly nicer result because it decides to, to shade the region in the middle between the Gaussians into some kind of a mix of the colors. So really top, top scores for Gemini. Um, the third example is I took, uh, I took uh, an illustration that uh, I actually made in TIX in, in one of my papers. So I, I know for a fact that this has never uh, this has never been on the internet, so no model has seen this particular plot, and it's quite an intricate plot with a lot of elements. And this means that the, pr the prompt I had to write was quite, uh, quite uh, lengthy. Um, but I gave detailed instructions about how, how this thing to, should look like. Um, so let's see the, the results. Um, ChatGPT, I think, produces a, a wonderful result, like almost, almost a perfect recreation of what I wanted. The only mistake here is that this uh, uh, line, dashed line on the outside, uh, uh, goes on the inside and has the wrong angle. But this is very easy to adjust in, in Tixie. Uh, you just need to play with the numbers and the angles and you, you can get like a perfect, uh, perfect result. Uh, how long is the, the Tixie code? Um, I would say around... Uh, around 100 lines. I didn't, uh, I didn't count it. Yeah, you're right. It, I could also like check how long is each, uh, each of the LLM generated codes and compare that. I, I didn't see big differences in there, but I can check later. Um, Cloud produces uh, almost a good <laughs> result. You can see kind of uh, the aesthetics are very strange. It makes these, these uh, dash circles very close and, and Somehow the G on the outside is incorrectly placed, but also you could work with that and you could fix it. Uh, Gemini uh, hallucinates that I want the the line to have this like weird um, pattern that I, that I didn't ask, and also it's on the on the wrong side. But other than that, I would say all of these results are, are not bad uh, at all. And um, for the for the final result, I took. Uh, a layer graph, which is also a, a Tixi plot that, uh, that I made uh, and, and that was never online, as far as I know. Um, a lot of people make these uh, type of figures. They're quite popular in, in papers. And, and here I wanted to get something as close as possible to this, to this layer graph. So I gave a very detailed prompt that says exactly what the layers should be, what the connectivity should be, uh, how the labels on the different layers should should be A0 to A3, and also there are labels on the nodes, and then some of the nodes are, are red nodes, and they're demarked by this dashed line. So I, I, I wrote the whole thing, and uh, ChatGPT works okay, almost, almost. Um, so you get uh, kind of the wrong colors, <laughs> right? The, uh, and, and I actually asked uh, for the red, uh, the red nodes to be the, the bottom two on the, on the rightmost uh, layer, and it, it somehow decided to color the, the three top 
No, so it made some, some weird mistakes and also the aesthetics I would say is not great because these balls are intersecting. Um, but overall, this can be fixed. Uh, Claude uh, kind of really nails it. Like this is a really amazing result by, by Claude. I think it, it's perfect except for the position of, of the red line and the fact that it's not dashed. So way to go, Claude. And, and Gemini, I, I don't know what happened here. Like I, I don't understand this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not, not amazing. Um, okay, so, so to kind of summarize, um, if I have to treat this benchmark as an indicator for how the different systems are doing, I would say ChatGPT does overall best on, the, on this uh, data set and Claude is, is pretty good. And Gemini, uh, kind of weird, uh, gives weird results, uh, really only nailed one, uh, one example, which is the two Gaussians. But overall, all of these systems for all of the examples are something you could work with and you can get really good results. You can get, you, you can get like a good ticks figure in an hour instead of a day or two days. Uh, so I, I would highly recommend to, uh, to try this uh, in your own uh, papers. And then if I have one more minute, I have one. So one bonus uh, example is trying to use these, these um, these methods, like uh, like you suggested, basically just giving them an illustration and asking them to make this plot. Okay, so so I I gave them this PNG image, uh, the hand drawn PNG image of the of the pie chart, and just ask ask the uh, LLMs to to prepare a Tixie figure, and uh, the results are not as good. So this is what ChatGPT gave. I don't know what happened here, but um, it seems to sort of understand the, the basic elements, but screw up the, the placement. Uh, Claude, actually, sort of okay. Um, and Gemini, not, not too bad. So th this is, I, I think a lot of people are, um, uh, are, are saying that Gemini is actually quite, quite a good model for perception. Uh, but maybe not, not necessarily as, as, as good as the other models for generating. You could actually try to combine both. You could try to uh, maybe upload a drawing to Gemini and ask it to describe the, the image and create a prompt and then insert this prompt to any other LLM to, to see if you can get uh, better results. But overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with this benchmark. I think the, the results are, are okay or, or good like across the board. Um, that's it. Yeah. Uh, right. So I didn't do this in this benchmark. I did do it in my own use, um, and it mostly works. So trying to asking things like uh, changing a dashed line to a solid line, etc. Those type of things work. The things that don't work as well are placement. You kind of tell it to move this a little to the left. It doesn't exactly know where 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 the item is located. Um, but this is really easy to fix uh, manually. So th the fact that it generates a code that you can modify by yourself and, and compile and test is really helpful. Yes. Upload the image. Oh, that's a good idea. I, I never tried that. Just upload the image and, and tell it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. So something I, something that I did that did happen. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.